friends, welcome to Mindful Monday, your yoga flow. I am your registered dietitian and registered yoga teacher, Melissa Pearson. With me today, I have Destiny and Leslie. We are the Student Nutrition Services <laughs> staff right now. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of a 30 minute yoga flow to open up our hips. So we've been sitting at our desks or maybe sitting, you know, studying. And so we want to find a little bit of release. So, hi friends, thanks for joining. Go ahead and um, find yourself in our bound angle pose. So coming onto your backs and making a diamond shape with your legs. So feet together, knees out to the side. We'll take a moment to get into the breath. Maybe a hand on the chest, a hand on the heart as we feel the rise and fall of the breath. And bringing in whatever intention that you want to bring into class and offer up the intention of release, whether that's a release in tension in your physical body, tension in your emotional or spiritual body, whether that's stress or something we need to let go of, can we find some release? Take a nice deep inhale, fill up the lungs, the side ribs, the back, Chest. Open your mouth, let it fall. Again, fill all the way up. Let the abdomen expand, expanding through the side body, the back, the chest. Open your mouth, let it fall. Find some release and softness in your shoulders. Last time, fill all the way up. See if we can find some length through the spine. Open your mouth, let something go. Go ahead and blink your eyes open if they were closed. Bring your hands to the sides of your thighs. Bring your knees into your chest. Hug and cradle your shins. Rock yourself from side to side. Give yourself a nice little back massage. See if you can find some release in the jaw by bringing some space in between the teeth. Take your hands underneath your hamstrings. Begin to rock and roll until you find yourself up into a seat. Hi, right, friends. Let's come into our tabletop position. So shoulders stacked on top of hips. Knees about hips distance apart. Wrists parallel to the top of the mat. Spread your fingertips nice and wide. On your inhale, cow pose, and drop your belly button to the ground, hug your shoulder blades together, look up. On your exhale, cat pose, around the back, separate the shoulder blades, chin to chest. Again, inhale to cow pose. Exhale to cat pose, on your own breath, move at your own flow for four, Three, two, and one. Inhale to neutral spine, tabletop position. Tuck your back toes under, take one more inhale, and on your exhale, kick your right leg up into a donkey kick. So our toes are flexing towards our shins so we can activate our hamstrings, get them a little warm, and we'll do tiny pulses here. Four, four. Three, two, one. Inhale, lower the knee. Now we'll open it up to the side. Exhale and lift. Little pulses for four. Three, two, and one. Release. Now we'll bring them into circles. So kick back. Bring, turn your knee out, bring it towards your shoulder, and then release it down. So kicking our foot to the sky, opening up the thigh, bring it towards the shoulder, and then back in, and then continue that movement. Find some softness in these circles. Four, four, three, Reverse in two, 
and one. Reverse your circle, so we'll open it to the side. Turn your knee in, kick the sky, then bring your knee back to center. Open it up to the side. Kick the sky, bring it back to center. Four, four. Three. Two. And one. Take it, inhale, tuck both toes underneath. Exhale to downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Maybe pedal out the feet, press the floor away from you to find a nice um, inverted V shape. Take an inhale through the nose. Open your nose, find something to let go of. Inhale to tabletop position. We'll have all of the hip work on the left side. Take an inhale, tuck your left toes. Exhale, donkey kick and pulse for four, three, two, and one. Back down, inhale, exhale, open up to the side, little pulses here, for four, three, two, and one, release. Now for our circles, kick it up. Turn your leg out, bring your knee towards your shoulder, release to the earth. Again, inhale, kick it out. Exhale, turn your knee, open it up, bring it towards your shoulder, and release. Now again, smooth out the circles. Go at your own pace, at your own flow. For four. Three, reverse in two, and one. Reverse that flow, open to the side, kick the sky, release it down, deep inhale, open up, exhale, kick it high, and release. Smoothing out the circles, find your own movement for four. Three, two, and one. Inhale, tuck your toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. Maybe shift your hips from side to side now that they are awake. Inhale to tippy toes. Gaze at the top of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Take as many steps as you need to to the top of the mat. Maybe grab opposite elbows, sway from side to side. Release your head, neck, and shoulders. Let the crown of your head descend towards the earth. Inhale here. Exhale, release your hands to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, fingers to thighs or shins. Point the tailbone towards the back wall, lengthen through the crown of the head. Take another inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, reverse swan dive, flat back, brings you all the way to the sky. Hands to the sky, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, prayer through the center, soften your knees, hinge at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees deeply so you can plant your hands onto the earth. Inhale, low lunge, right foot steps behind. We'll take this low lunge, align your knee over your ankle, and then shift back and forth, coming up onto our tippy toes and then pointing the heel towards the back of the mat. We're taking a moment to release the right hip flexor. do any sitting, any running, any biking. I feel a nice breeze here. Eventually we find some stillness. Take an inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Plant your hands, step your left foot back. 
Inhale, shift forward to your plank upper push up. Option to stay here, option to come down onto tabletop. Exhale, hold your plank or lower halfway. Inhale to up dog or cow pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips to the sky. Beautiful, y'all. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step between your thumbs, low lunge on the other side. Take a moment, stack your knee over your ankle, shift back and forth. Coming up onto the toes and then sending the heel to the back of the mat. We have four, three, two, one. Press off your back foot. Step to the top of the mat for your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Hands to the sky, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. We'll take that all on the other side. Take an inhale through the nose. Open your mouth, let the shoulders release down your back. Inhale, mountain pose, hands to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, soften your knees, hinge at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees deeply, plant your hands on the earth. Inhale, low lunge, left foot steps behind. And then again, we take that shifting back and forth, releasing the hip flexor. Maybe you want to get a little bit lower. You want to bend your elbows, come down onto the elbows, but know that you don't have to force anything. Four, four, three, down dog in two, and one. Downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward to your plank upper push up or come down to your tabletop. Exhale, hold or lower halfway. Inhale, up dog or cow pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips to the side. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge step between your thumbs. And then we'll take that rocking back and forth. See if we can find some length through the crown of the head. Broaden across the collarbones. Find some release in the hips. Four, four, three, two, and one. Press off your back foot, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Bring your hands all the way to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's take a nice cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose. Open your mouth, let it go. <sighs> Inhale to mountain pose. Hands up high. Exhale, forward fold. Soften your knees. Hinge at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Maybe we do a cow pose. Maybe we just come to downward facing dog. Any choice is yours. Beautiful. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step between your thumbs. From here, walk your hands to the top left corner of your mat, and then open up your left toes. So we're almost in kind of like this awkward side lunge. Uh, top body is almost like a downward facing dog. Nice, Leslie. Yeah. I can't see you, Deb, but I'm sure you look amazing. <laughs> And then from here, we'll spider crawl our hands to the back side of the mat, toes out, heels in, come into a side lunge we call the skandasana. 
So you can plant your hands to the ground. We can hold at heart center, depending on how, how you want to flow. It's up to you. See if we can maybe press the elbow to open up the leg or not. The choice is yours. Take an inhale. As you exhale, spider crawl your fingers towards the center for wide leg forward fold. Toes face the front of the room. Beautiful. Inhale, come up to your fingertips. Plant your left hand underneath your nose as you exhale. Inhale, right hand to the sky. Take an inhale here. Exhale, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right hand underneath your nose. Exhale, lift the left hand to the sky. See if we can really separate the shoulder blades and stack the palms as much as we can. Even if it's just the intention and it doesn't quite stack, that's okay. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up to the fingertips. Exhale, spider crawl, top of the mat, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two, pivot the back foot down, cartwheel the hands up into space. Nice, strong warriors, beautiful. So right knee stacks over the right ankle. And then gaze towards your middle finger. So we're gazing slightly into the future with nice focus. Inhale, reverse warrior, flip your front palm up and back. So you continue to bend through your front leg to any degree, any degree. We're just breathing and opening up the side body. Inhale, exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the earth. Take your high to low plank or maybe your cat cow, meet me in downward facing dog. Beautiful choices. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step between your thumbs. Pivot your back heel down and we come into that awkward, like, down dog warrior two. So our hips are open. We're reaching to the top left corner of the back. <laughs> Breathing into the back side body. Take an inhale. Exhale, spider crawl your body to the back of the mat. Toes out, heels in for your side lunge. So your side lunge may be here and that's okay. Whatever degree. Take an inhale. Exhale, spider crawl the hands towards the middle. A wide leg forward fold. Toes face the front of the earth or front of the room. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your right uh, hand underneath your nose. Inhale, reach the left hand up high. Nice little twist. Take an inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale to fingertips. Exhale, plant the left hand palm underneath the nose. Inhale, twist, reach the right hand to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale to fingertips. Exhale, walk to the top of the mat. Low lunge. Inhale, warrior two, pivot your back foot down, start moving your hands up into space. Nice, strong warriors, find your focus, find your gaze, and then let something go. The shape of the pose doesn't have to be perfect, right? It's just what feels good in your body. Inhale, reverse warrior, flip your front palm, reach it up and back, breathe into the side body. We continue to bend forward with our foot or with our left knee. 
inhale exhale cartwheel your hands down high to low or maybe a cat cow Exhale, knee in, downward facing down. Beautiful. Let's take that cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose. Open your mouth, let it go. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step between your thumbs. Gently lower the back knee to the earth. Toe heel your right foot to the outside of your hands. So our foot. We want both of our hands on the inside of our foot. Option to stay here into your lizard pose. Option to come down onto the elbows. Then again, great time to personalize by grabbing some pillows, books, blocks to place underneath your hands or elbows. And then take a moment to breathe. Nice deep inhales and exhales as we release anything that needs to, we need to let go of. Option to add a twist to this. If you wanna come up onto your palms, place the right hand onto the thigh and use that as leverage to gaze at the sky. Now we can stay here. Those who would like to can come into the twisted monkey by reaching the hand behind you, kicking your foot into the hand. Know that this is not a superior pose, it's just a different variation. Personally, that's a little too deep for my hips, so I choose to do with the hand on the thigh. Inhale, exhale, unwind, toe heel your foot back in between your palms, sit your hips back for half split, flex your toes towards your shin. Nice soft bend in the knee. And then maybe you want to shift your hips side to side, windshield wiper, your toes or your foot. Next, inhale, low lunge. Exhale to downward facing dog. Take that cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose. Open your mouth, let it go. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step between your thumbs. Gently lower your back knee to the earth. Toe heel your left foot to the outer edge of the mat. So toes point out, heels point in. And again, you can keep your torso lifted. You can come down onto your elbows if that serves you. But just because you go deeper doesn't mean that it's better. Different bodies need different movement. You continuously send breath into the hips, into the jaw into the shoulders, finding some space. Option to add on your twist. Maybe we put a left palm onto the thigh and use as leverage to twist towards the sky. Option to come into twisted monkey, reaching the palm behind you, kicking the foot into the palm. if you're clenching anything, clenching your jaw, clenching your fingers, clenching your hips, and we release. Inhale. Exhale, unwind. Toe heel your foot back towards the center. Sit back into your half split. Left toes, flex towards the shins. And then again, feel free to wiggle the hips back and forth, windshield wiper the foot back and forth, nice soft bend in the knee. Inhale, low lunge. 
lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take one more cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose. Open your mouth, let it go. Inhale to tabletop. Exhale, sit your hips to the side. Swing your legs out in front of you. And then slowly lower yourselves all the way to the earth. We'll set it up for bridge pose. Bringing the feet in towards the hips, about hips distance apart. Hands down by the side. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press your heels into the earth. As you lift your hips up high, engage the glutes, the hamstrings, inner and outer thighs. Maybe rock and roll, tuck your shoulder blades under. If you have the space, grab the outer edge of the mat or interlace the fingers. Press the upper arms into the earth as you lift your hips even higher. Take an inhale here. Exhale, lower one vertebrae at a time, like a strand of pearls. And maybe windshield wiper the knees back and forth. Eventually coming back through the center. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, figure four, cross the ankle over the thigh, and maybe we stay here. Maybe we just work on pressing the hand into the leg to gently open up the hips. You can also thread your hands in between the hold. Like thread the needle and bring the hands interlace underneath the thigh. Feel free to rock side to side, maybe finding some movement. We release the outer hip. We did inner hips earlier. Now we're on the outer hips. We built strength at the beginning of class. Take an inhale. Exhale, release the foot to the ground, the left foot to the ground if it's not already there. Keep your figure four. Inhale. Exhale, drop your knees over to the left or an awkward supine twist. If this is too awkward, just stack your knees. We're more concerned right now about the spine fighting release than we are about the shape of the pose. Take an inhale. Exhale, come back to center, plant your feet on the earth. Bend your knees. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, figure four, cross your ankle over your thigh. And again, we can stay here. Just work on our grounded figure four. We could thread our hands underneath our hamstring. Coming to a little bit of a thread the needle situation. And maybe rocking the knees back and forth. And notice, are we clenching the jaw? Are we clenching the inner thigh? Can we use the breath to soften? Inhale. Exhale, release the right foot to the earth. Keep your figure four, inhale. Exhale, awkward supine twist, drop your knees over to the right. And again, we can stay in our figure four or just stack our knees. The priority is the twist, not necessarily the figure four shape. Inhale here. Exhale, unwind. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice little hug. Take an inhale, exhale, release everything into the earth for your final pose, your Shavasana. Stretch your legs out long, release your hands down by your side, tuck your shoulder blades to broaden across the collarbone. 
We'll hold for three cleansing breaths. Inhale through the nose. We'll open your mouth, let it go. Again, inhale deep. Open the mouth, let it go. Last time, inhale all the way up, all the way in. Open the mouth, let it go. If you have the time and the space, feel free to stay in the shape. If you're ready for the rest of your afternoon, you can bring your knees into your chest and either roll over onto your side before pressing yourself up or rocking and rolling into a seat. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me for our Mindful Monday yoga session. Um, if you would like pen attendance, the pen is in the chat. I will also repost this with the pen, and you can see the replay on YouTube. Um, thank you. Happy Monday. I hope you all have a great week.